Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a new melee weapon. This is another one's Cyber Out 77. So it's like a cyberpunk katana that I believe isn't even in Cyberpunk 2077. But we're supposed to go to the APC here by Swan's Pond. So if you don't know where Swan's Pond is, it's here, obviously. You probably go right by this um, on your way to save Nick Valentine through the main story quest. There's a new red door here though, by this APC. And it's the Ruined Sword Museum, so we're going to head in here. This is obviously a new location added because of the mod. I have my shotgun out. I am ready. Um, I have stealth high enough to avoid traps, so whatever we got going on here, I'm not worried about it. So we need to get to the second floor, so I guess we're just jumping up here. I guess there's stairs here too, but, you know, I took the way. And then there's a chest here that we're supposed to access that has 25 of the materials we'll need to craft the weapon. Okay, that can serve blade. I, I don't know what that counts as, but we got 25 of them, okay? And I believe we're going to take that back to the, the weapon workbench here. There's nothing else in here. Try to hold American flag. Okay, that's very important. America and stuff, right? And we got a, we got one single stem pack and scroll on a stick. I guess we'll take all that stuff. Um, but there's nothing really in here. That's not like a complicated thing to do. So I will see you guys back at my workshop where I craft the weapon. All right, everybody. We're here at my at my chemistry station sword recovery so there's a new section at the chemistry station that you'll get because of this mod and there's actually a ton of swords i did not realize that this was actually like a bazillion swords so we're going to craft one of each of these obviously you're going to need some materials for each of these two though the acid and a septic cloth one of the conserved blades in oil so covert blade dark flower dragon eastern flame executioner golden dawn golden ninjato katana hundred applause nodachi the ikebana the Induction Sword, the Iron Tiger, the Ivy, the Katana, the, Li, the Liu Li Dao. I apologize for my pronunciation of some of these. This is the, Nahan, the Hanto, the Oni Koroshi, the Politana, like multiple Katana? Like Poly is like multiple, right? And then Tana is like Katana, like the Politana. The Rising Sun, the Rose, the Russian Trophy, the Sakura Petal, the Shi, Shimazu, the Shin Gunto. The Sinobigant, <laughs> Sinobigant, <laughs> it's a big katana, I guess, I don't know, the Slasher. And then we can't even craft the rest of these, so uh, I apologize that I can't show these off. These Tachi, the Tao and Zora, I don't even know if we can get more conserved blades. Is there like a way to make conserved blades? Maybe I missed that in the, the mod description or something. Um, but we spent all the ones we got from from the little workshop there so we're gonna go through these swords now okay one at a time we have covert blade they all do 551 damage and are fat holy shit yeah i'm letting you hear some of the sounds there so this is the what is this one called the covert blade it's, it's black um we can block what they say you can kind of see it a little bit more in there too uh, i do have a high field of view so it is a little bit of a perspective issue on the sword so there, that's a covert blade, dark flower. Okay, we got like a little hilt there, right? That's what that called. Breaking my own shit. But still, the, I believe the animations here are gonna be all the same. Obviously, we got a lot of cosmetic differences here, because they all doing the same damage. There's a little dragon there on the hilt. Block with that. You can see that little dragon on there. Um, the eastern flame is it on fire? No, it's just <laughs> it looks like a little fire on the hilt, right? The executioner. I guess, right? But like I said, these animations are going to be the same. And I believe that might be a unique animation because I don't believe there's a sword that attacks at very fast attack speed, right? Ooh, look at that running animation though. Oh, I mean, we, you gotta, like, I understand, like, limitations and stuff here because, like, this is a running animation where you're going to, like, slash outwards, but then you, like, your character stops running, literally brings the sword to the other side and then swings down instead of swinging from, like, the holster position, right? Because like you see how that works. Like it's kind of a, it, it looks weird, right? When you start running, you're holding the sword on the left side here, and then you swing from the right side when you swing. It'd be cool if you could get like a running dash attack swing. I understand this is all. Comp what about a heavy attack? No, no heavy attacks. Heavy attack? There's, there is a heavy attack. We hold it up and then go down. And I believe it's going to be the same. I, so far, the animations have been the same. Golden Dawn, though. Like I said, I'm, I apologize I can't show off all of these. I wonder why they only give you 25 of the things if you can't you can't craft all those things with them, right? You run out. Um, but there are there are some cool looking katanas in here. The hundred applause of Dachi, uh, right? Like a lot of different little cosmetic things here. The Ikebana, and we're just kind of quickly showing these off here because this is an induction sword. This is one like yeah, this one looks like it was electric. Um, doesn't actually do 
energy damage. It's still the same patterns and stuff, right? But it does look electric. That's kind of cool, right? Like, it, it is kind of which ones you prefer. And I'm sorry I can't show all of them off. You really, this one's like literally wielded one-handed. That looks strange. Like, to an extent to me, it looks weird, right? Like, where my other hand, what's my other hand doing? How does this look in third, like I'm just holding it? The third person animations go back to slow. That's interesting too, because like, I know very much Melee is definitely a style you could play in third person, but like, these animations are not the same. We're hitting big old swings every time, right? Like compared to, that's an interesting little side effect of that. That's weird, that's a one-handed Ivy. Like Ivy from Soul Calibur? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know Ivy. That's, that's, that's the only Ivy. Oh, Poison Ivy from Batman. A regular Katana Katana? Look, it's just a, it's a Katana, okay? Like, but these are all just obviously cosmetic variants of what is essentially the, the same functional sword. It's going to do, with maximum perks, 551 damage at very fast, which is obviously extremely overpowered. Um, the Nihanto here, like some of these got some cool cosmetic hilts and, and patterns and stuff. Some of them got more, like even cooler design blades and stuff. Um, the polyten is that multiple content like no I, I was expecting this one to be like multiple blades in one <laughs> like uh, the rising sun right there's like a little sun pattern hilt there I think right the rose which is gonna have a rose pattern hilt maybe right like uh, this is uh, the Russian trophy it's a Russian sword I guess uh, the Sakura petal is gonna be you know a flower <laughs> like as a hilt Shimazu like we got a lot of swords here and obviously like I said, all cosmetic in their differences and stuff here. So it's kind of like, really, you'll need one of the swords, whatever one you like the most. And you pick that one and you use it. I kind of like the one-handed one. I don't know if it's supposed to be one-handed. This one doesn't even have a hilt at all. It's just... We're gonna, we, we should show some of these off in combat, or at least one of them off in combat, because I imagine they all function similarly. Uh, this is a slasher sword. They all do look very cool. That's all of them. So what's the, what was the one-handed one? Like, just I think that's weird. Right, that was the, in, was that, it wasn't this Iron Tiger. This is the one-handed sword. Yeah. We hold it one-handed. Okay. So I'm going to go get some combat, and I will see you guys when we get there, and we're going to cut some things up with our uh, Cyber Out 77 Katanas, swords. And, and a reminder, too, before we get going to combat, that I did that I did not be able, I was not able to craft all of these swords. Um, there's sword recovery here. And I missed, like, the bottom three. The Zoro, the Tao, and the Tachi. I couldn't craft. So... Be keep in mind this mod does not give you enough to craft all the different variants of swords. If you do want them all, you're gonna have to pick and choose. And I'm not sure why that is. Why not just give you all of them? Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get to some combat. Hey there, everybody. I am outside Diamond City now. I did notice that you pull the blade out and you like swing it. I don't think it actually is gonna count as a swing, but maybe it does. We're gonna test it out while we test out some combat. We're gonna literally whip out the blade in front of somebody. Obviously, we should fight some ghouls in the super duper mark. Because I just, I mean, like, I, I don't know how many mod videos you guys may have seen of me. This is kind of a consistent pattern for me. So, we're going to walk up to something, and we're going to press the right trigger and see if we swing on the out. Like, as we bring the weapon out, which it kind of looks like it's going to, right? So, hello, ghouls. I have a sword for you. It does. It fucking does. That's extremely sick. Because you could be, like, walking around here like, uh, I don't got no sword. Actually, guess what, bitch? I do. And obviously, it does extreme amounts of damage. 551 or whatever makes it by far the most stupidly overpowered melee weapon to exist in the game. But you can feel kind of like a samurai, just like sheath, pull it out, and a person, in two people. Very good. Right? That's cool! That's like, whoosh, like you just whip it right out. That's extremely cool too. Um, it is, it, 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 and then obviously there's a lot of the cosmetic variants. The weird thing here is like, look, I mean, I really think that this is weird. We gotta fix these third person things. This is this is not supposed to be like this. Um, it's supposed to be a very fast weapon, and it is. It's very quick here. We're gonna obviously swing it like normal now. Um, give you a whole other round of ghouls to swing at. But it does make a cool sound too. Um, so this is like very fast, right? Like, ooh, what's that? Res resolute. Lever what's the resolute effect? Time. Oh, time slows down. For a moment while chaining their final round in the magazine. I don't even want it. That seems kind of shitty. <laughs> like, right after you reload, you get time slow down? That's. I, I've, I don't even think I've seen anything with that effect before. Um, and I played a lot of Fallout 4 in my time. The swords are fun, though. Let's mention the swords here. The swords are amazing. This is obviously like an overpowered good time. The animations are solid. In first person and third person, they completely don't work. Um, there's a lot of customizable variety here. Um, it is quite the large mod on that end, 
we, we did finish already. Um, it's too easy to cut things down with these things. But there, you do have to, it's not like you can pick and choose, right? I, you know, I, I only need one of these swords. I need like one, just like regular katana would have done it for me. Obviously, you know, in, but some of you are going to want some of this customization variety, but there's obviously no way to use all these swords at once. I like this one because you hold it one-handed and it looks pretty sick. Um, but like they all, they all look cool. I mean, there's nothing, there's no, I really like what it was the other one, the, the induction sword. This one looks, you know, cause it's got like all the, like, it's like a heated blade thing because of the, you've heated it up from electricity and stuff or whatever. And there's a lot of cool swords in here. It, it's a shame that you can't craft them all. That needs to get fixed. You need to be able to give you enough components to literally craft all the swords. If you're going to have a, like a bunch of swords and you're going to have almost like a hundred megabyte size mod full of swords, you might make, make sure I get all the swords. Um, unless there's some way to craft the sword, like craft the stuff that lets you craft the swords like that. But that's like an extra redundancy step that so doesn't need to be in there. A third person animations need to get fixed. But other than that, it's a fun sword mod. You're like, I mean, you can literally sheath the thing, run up on somebody, be like, bitch, and pull it out and hit them. That's cool animation. That's very samurai dope shit. Then there might be some Roni Kinchin level fucking badassery, right? So. If this seems like something you should check out, which I think it does, I think you guys should be checking out this particular sword mod. If, I mean, you could literally just use this as your sole melee weapon in like a full melee run, right? And have a good time with it. I'm having a good time with it already. Obviously, extremely overpowered though, to be fair. But some people are gonna judge it automatically off of that. I don't care. I think it's cool. You guys should check it out. If you guys would like to do so, check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on that page or the Nexus mod page or where you can find this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, dislike the video. That's okay too. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever time it may be. And I will see you in the next episode.